everybody, welcome to my channel uh, Rios Forever and today's video I want to show you guys how it looks like one of the most famous flowers here in Mexico for the Day of the Dead. You know that the Day of the Dead here is um, like a big, big celebration. Uh, the Day of the Dead in Spanish means Dia de Muertos and it's one of the most cultural celebrations. Um, here in Oaxaca, because Oaxaca is the state where, I, uh, where I'm from, so we plant these kind of flowers, these red flowers that we call borla. As you can see, these flowers, they're red ones, they're the red ones, and we have different tones. The, uh, some of them, they're like more, uh, more red. Some, some of them, they're less red, as you can see. And uh, I'm here, guys, because I'm gonna show you my father's uh, plantation. My father is a farmer, so every year my father has a tradition that he's, um, he's planting flowers. And these flowers, the red one, borla, and also my father's plant, the other ones, the, the yellow ones. Um, I, I think actually you know them because if you already saw the, I mean, you already watched the movie Coco, probably you, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm here and look at this amazing and beautiful view here. Um, and I'm here, guys, to show you how it looks like this flower. Uh, my father said that it takes actually around like four and a half months to be ready this kind of flowers um, because you know as you can see the top that is the most beautiful thing in this in this flower it has branches and this the top of this flower it takes a lot of time to be ready and it looks beautiful so and also guys I would I would like to I would like to tell you guys that we used to put these flowers in something where we that we call altar. Altar is like a place that we put with one of the our familiars that they're already dead. So we put flowers to honor them. So these flowers is one of them. Um, and later, and later, I'm gonna show you guys the the other flowers because also we have sempasuchil. The, we call sempasuchil in Spanish for the yellow ones. This is the red ones, and also we have the yellow ones. So. Um, let's go, come with me in this video, I want to show you how beautiful and this flower, look at this. It's amazing guys, it's really amazing. So basically guys, this is a beautiful, beautiful view and it feels amazing to be here. So I hope you're enjoying guys to see this and I um, I basically I show the first the flowers that it's called Borla and now this, uh, we're gonna go to the other field where my father has the, the flowers, the yellow ones, the Sempasuchil and also the little ones that we call Angelito. So, let's go guys. Hello guys, welcome back. So now we are here and these flowers, these beautiful flowers, that is one of the most famous, actually I think it's the most famous flower here in Mexico for the Day of the Dead. This yellow one, it's called Sempasuchil. Sempasuchil and Sempasuchil, it means 20 flowers. It means um, uh, 20 flores in, in Spanish. Um, basically, this, these flowers, I think um, it was one of the most uh, historical flowers from Mexico because it's pre-Hispanic. The Aztecs, like uh, the ancient civilization, they use these flowers and, and they use in rituals and also they, they use for, or they put these flowers from the people that, to honor the people that, that was uh, dead, that, that was dead. So, um, we are here walking in this field. And these flowers, they have uh, some characteristics that also we have different tons of flowers. As you can see, we, we have this, this flower that is uh, more yellow than these flowers. And also we have, this, as you can notice, also we have different um, structures of the flowers. These flowers, as you see, this yellow one, 
it has a particular uh, particular form and is different from this one the colors and the structures and also the smells is uh, is a little different i think so uh, i'm here guys also my father as as i told you before my father is a farmer also my father planted these flowers um for being ready these flowers the sempo suchil it takes around like three three months and a half i think almost four months so i think they start uh, my father start planting these flowers sempo suchil um in the month in july i think in july kind of um look at how beautiful it looks also these these flowers the sempo suchil so it's really really amazing and it smells fantastic and also I want to share with you guys that we have um, one flower that it's small and it's also yellow one and we call it angelito angelito it means like little angel and this flower it used to put, uh, the people used to put like in the cemetery for the children or baby that they die so if you want to see also we have some some of them here in this side so come with me guys and it's i want to show with i want to share with you guys one of um one of interesting things because also you need to know that these flowers this um the semposuchi the flowers that you can see here in this field are just the female flowers because we have as you, uh, men and female flowers and the men the men flowers are this one that actually we don't use them we don't use them and we have to broke them or we have i mean broke them and to live in here in the field and to you um, to use like organic things you know this is the this is the male and the flowers that we sell that we we collocate in you know, on the day of the dead are the female. So, I was telling you that I want to show you with you guys. Look at this amazing, incredible flower, Angelito. Really beautiful. They're they're little, but as you can see, there really, really a lot of them. You know, together, and we have also different colors. We have the red ones with uh, with orange, and also we have some of them. They're more uh, yellow. And these flowers is really, really amazing, guys. Why? Because it takes um, few, um, less time than the borla and the sepasuchil, you know, and this little one. And it has a lot of, lot of flowers. So as you can see, this looks pretty, pretty cool. And I hope, guys, that you're enjoying this video. And I show you the flowers that we sell and the flowers that we put, we call okay on the day of the dead. We have Borla, Sempasuchi, and Angelito. And these flowers here in Oaxaca, because Oaxaca is um, here, we are in Oaxaca. There is a famous state and we have uh, our own traditional um, way to celebrate the day of the dead because every state has different way, but similar, kind of, kind of similar way to celebrate the day of the dead. So here in Mexico, uh, exactly here in Oaxaca, we used to plant Flor de Angelito, flowers, Angelito flowers, Borla and Sempasuchil, and they're the uh, really famous flowers. So in these days that it's November, and actually October 31st, November 1st and November 2nd, that is the most famous days for the Day of the Dead, we used to sell and collocate these flowers in the altars or altares we call it in spanish that it's like a like a way to honor them to the people who already died so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i show you a little bit of my life here and you know also the things that uh, i used to do when i was here because i used to help my father to plant this i want to show you guys with you how it looks like the, the flowers uh, here in the day of the dead and i hope you enjoy and see this beautiful and amazing view and see you guys